Hi everyone, I'm Shannon from the Chamber of Manitowoc County and for today's Business Minute video I'm here with Tammy Schmitz and Kim Rezek from MAGIC um, and to start out can you tell me more about what MAGIC is? MAGIC is, is uh, just to, to enhance and, and help the community grow. You know, bring in bring in tourism. We we do things to develop our, our area for tourism and business and you know anything that you know we can to enhance uh, our community here in uh, Michigan. So, and one of those big events that you have to bring in people um, is Pumpkin Fest. Yes, so Pumpkin Fest is um, October nineteenth this year. Um, it's our thirty second year year doing um, Pumpkin Fest. It's a very family friendly anybody friendly, you know, come in, um, have fun, you know, um, the crafts, the, the food vendors, the animals, we have a petting zoo here, um, and it's just um, to the, hall, the fall festival, fall harvest, mm -hmm. and just to be able to, so everything, we turn everything into the, vil in the village into pumpkins, so we have pumpkins everywhere, the school is involved, um, they have the pumpkin breakfast, pumpkin pancake yeah. breakfast, mm -hmm. Um, and it, it's a big hit. Everybody loves, you know, the pumpkin pancake breakfast. Um, and then they have vendors up at the school. They have, you know, stuff that they do. And then they come come down here. We have the parade. Um, at it's noon. just at, at noon. noon. Um, this year we have um, a dedication to the uh, the mural that we had uh, installed this year. Um, it's pretty special. It's a the mural is is a, a replication of the. So Michigan is is uh, founded by the Potawatomi Indians and Chief Michigan, and so the mural is a representative representative the uh, of the chief. Uh, of the chief. <coughs> it's his grandson. It's actually oh. Earl Michigan is on that mural. Wow. So and that's his grandson. Hopefully right. he's going to be here for the dedication, but yeah. he has some family health matters. Mm -hmm. So right. Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a great event um it it brings the community together it's it's been growing every year it just it it's a fun time we have the baking contest and the pumpkin um, pumpkin decorating contest that's at the fire station and we also have wizard's kingdom will be at the old school in michicot uh, for all the kids they have a blast with that so oh, yeah okay. the kids we also have uh the pumpkin decorating the kids can can do that um baking contest the baking contest, um, that's, a, that's a big hit, that's at the old school. Um, and we also have the giant pumpkin way off. So that's down at the country store, and that's a big hit also. Um, we have m live music here during the day. We have the parade again at, at noon, and then at one o'clock, um, right after the parade is gonna be our dedication for the um, mural, so. And you have a lot of great food options too that day too, right? Yes, how many food vendors do we have? We have numerous food vendors, um, a lot of local places. We have the Boy Scouts, we have the Knights of Columbus, we have the ambulance and the fire department, all places like that. They all serve their own specialty. Um, I can't think of it. And then we do have a couple of food wagons. We food also trailers. have uh, food trailers that come in. I know um, um, Brian's. Brian Smokehouse. Brian Smokehouse in Smokehouse. Manitowoc. They come out here. Um, Freedom Foods. Freedom Foods. There's, there's, you know, several other food vendors that come out. And Paradise Foods is yes. coming. So yeah, we have we have several um, places to eat, and we have we have, we'll have tables set up <coughs> down the street. So they everybody we we close off the street at seven a.m. Mm -hmm. um, close off the the entire main street, and um, and then Jackson Street. No, it's not Jack, uh, Jackson. It's uh, you're asking me by Crowbar. <laughs> They have pumpkin bowling, so they close off their street. So they do the pumpkin bowling, um, and they're looking for children, uh, you know, around the 10, for 10 pin, to 12 for, for pin, setting. pin setting. And they, you know, it, it's a, it's just a lot of fun. Like I said, it's a family event, and and um, they have we have craft vendors, we have food vendors, we have, you know, business vendors. You know, they they come down and they set up along the sides of the street. So. I know other other communities they do right down the center street, but we do it down the sides because then we do the the parade right through the through the middle. So we also have two churches. Uh, one is the Holy Cross Altar Society. We'll be selling pumpkin pies across the street here in Jim Eels store, and then also um, Mount Lake Presbyterian Church sells their kolachkis, and that's going to be down by the country store. So lots of good food. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a day long event. 
Last year the weather was a little bit inclement, um, so we didn't. It wasn't you know as great as it could it, it, as it has been, but generally it's it's a um, it's a very good turnout, and we we're we're hoping that uh, this year is is better than last year. <laughs> yeah, right, better than last year, but also you know just that it keeps growing. You know that that people keep keep coming in and enjoying just the fall harvest and you know our little community here. Yeah. So. And what day is this taking place? October 19th. It's Saturday. Okay. And where can people go to find a schedule of events for the day? There's a newsletter that went out. It's going out today or tomorrow in the mail to all the residents of the area. And they can also pick up copies at uh, Senex gas station on the corner, um, Clubhouse Family Restaurant up on top of the hill, here at the Village Hall. And they can go on fa Magic Facebook. And it's been posted on there already. Okay. Yes, well, they, the events have been... Uh, posted on that we also have Mishka uh, Business Association. They also have have uh, stuff posted on on our Magic website. For what the business or on our Magic Facebook specials. page. Yeah. So everything that that yeah because the business is in town then they have specials on that day also. So then they posted you know stuff on on their Facebook page for that too. Okay. If anyone is interested and they would like a copy of the newsletter or a copy of the contest and things like that, actually they can call Magic's office at nine two zero seven five five three four one one. Okay. All right, great. Thanks. Sounds like a great event. So thank you so much for meeting with me.